Abu Dhabi based doctors have announced pioneering work in stem cell therapy to repair lung damage caused by coronavirus infection. The Abu Dhabi team successfully treated 73 COVID 19 patients who were cured of COVID 19 before hospital discharge. The Fathers and Kids Camping Group, established in Dubai in 2010, has launched the Curie for COVID campaign in partnership with the Classic Catering to prepare hot meals for disadvantaged and vulnerable blue collar workers in Dubai. The UAE Embassy in India announced on Saturday that Indian authorities had permitted 88 doctors and nurses to travel to the UAE to help with efforts to beat coronavirus. The UAE has sent an aid plane containing 7 metric tons of medical supplies to India to support the country's efforts to curb the spread of COVID-19, Emirates News Agency reported on Saturday. More than 1.3 million meals were distributed to low-income workers in Dubai in one week under the Emirates 10 Million Meals Initiative. The initiative aims to help people who would have relied on masjids for food during Ramadan. It was launched by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, Vice President and Ruler of Dubai, last month. Two malls in Abu Dhabi Emirate have been granted permission to reopen from Saturday. Yas Mall on Yas Island and Al Jimmy Mall in Al Ain will be the first in the Emirate to open, but with measures in place to protect shoppers from the spread of COVID-19. UAE announces 561 new COVID-19 cases along with 8 new deaths and 121 recoveries. Qatar's Ministry of Public Health announces 776 new COVID-19 cases along with 98 recoveries and no fatalities were reported today. Omar on Saturday recorded 36 new cases of the novel coronavirus. The new cases bring to 2,483 the total of the COVID-19 infections, including 11 deaths, and the overall recoveries in the country have climbed to 750 cases. Kuwait announces 242 new COVID-19 cases, along with 3 deaths and 101 recoveries. Saudi Arabia announces 1,362 new COVID-19 cases along with 7 more deaths and 210 recoveries. As some Western studies for hydroxychloroquine ineffective as a potential COVID-19 therapy, a new Chinese research has reported that the anti-malaria drug raw dome mortality rates significantly among critical coronavirus patients. The death toll due to COVID-19 rose to 1,223 and the number of cases climbed to 37,776 in the country on Saturday, registering an increase of 71 deaths and a record jump of 2,411 cases in 24 hours, according to the Union Health Ministry. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing and interesting news to come up.